English class. How are you all? I hope you all are. Yes, fine. Okay. In our last class, what did we learn? Yes, very good. We revised chapter 1 and 2, right? Yes. What are the chapters? Yes, very good. Grandma glasses, right? Yes, grandma's glasses. Another one? Yes, try to lick your elbow, right? Yes, try to lick your louder. Yes, elbow. Okay, tell me who found her glasses? Yes, very good. Mother, right? Yes, mother. Can you see the spelling of mother? Yes. Okay, tell me. S M A S D H S very good A V right S mother who found her glasses louder S mother okay tell me who said they were hiding in your hair Raji who louder is very good. Veena, right? Is Veena. Who is Veena? Louder. Is mother's sister, right? Is mother's sister. Say the spelling of Veena. Is very good. V E S E N A. Veena, right? Who said? Your glasses must be on the chair. Who? Yes, very good. Mother, right? Yes, mother. Read the spelling. M A D H S A V, right? Yes, mother. Again, okay, tell me. What is the meaning of gross? Louder. Is very good. Dirty, right? Is dirty. See the spelling of dirty? S D I S R T Y, right? Is dirty. Next one. What is the meaning of spine? You know, right? Is that no? Yes. Okay, tell me what is the meaning of spine? Louder. It's very good. Backbone, right? It's backbone. B A. It's very good. C K. S B O. N E, right? It's backbone. A hey, good, my dear children, you answered well. Okay. Today we are going to revise. It's very good. Chapter. Three and is four, right? Is chapter three and four. What's the third chapter? What's the title? Is very good. Too big? Yes, too small, right? Too big? Too small. What's the fourth chapter? What's the title? Is very good. My yes, bicycle, right? Yes, my bicycle. Before that, we are going to do an action song. Okay, we are going to do an action song. Are you ready? Yes, okay, let's do. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around.
chapter 3 and 4. The first one, too big, as too small, too big, too small, too T O O too. What's the spelling of big? You know. S louder. B I S D to B. Then S T O O two small. S S yeah. S very good. A L S right. S to B too small. This story too big too small is about a girl. A very good Shanu, right? A Shanu. What's the spelling? A very good. Is it? Is very good. Yes. Yeah. You Shanu, right? Yes. Who are the characters we learn? Is Ami. See the spelling. Is Yaya. Yam Hai. Ami. Then, yes, Abu, right? Who's father? Yes, Shanu's father, right? Yes, Abu. Say the spelling. Yes, A, B. Yes, U, A, B, B. U, right? Yes, good. Next. Yes, Dadu, right? Yes, Dadu. Grandfather, right? Yes. The other name for grandfather is? S Dadu. Say the spelling. S D A S D U. Right. Then. Yes, Daddy. Shanu's grandma. Daddy. Say the spelling. S D A S D I. Then. Yes, younger brother. Right. Shanu. Yes, younger brother, brother, B R S O T S H E R, right? S Shanu, Ammi, Abu, Dadu, brother, Dadi, right? S. Let's revise the story. Shanu wants to do some things, but her parents not allow her to do right as her parents always refuses her by saying she is too big for that work or she is too small for that work like that okay the story starts with ammi okay shanu wants her mother to lift her up look at the picture yes she wants her mother to pick her in her Yes, lap. But her mother says, yes, she is very big. So, she cannot lift her up like that, okay? Because she is not a baby anymore, right? Yes, she is not a baby anymore. So, she said that I can't lift you up. Similarly, when Shanu wants to go to school alone, her father is saying her that you cannot walk to school alone right yes. look at the picture she wants to go to school alone right yes but her abu yes stop her next look at the picture yes dadu shanu and yes younger brother right yes shanu is trying to get inside her little sibling caught but her dadu is saying yes you are too big right yes you are too big next shanu picking up the baby and she wants to go to park with her yes little baby brother but her gra her dadi says yes you are too Small, so you can't carry the baby to the park, right? Yes. So here, Ami and 
Dadu says you are too big to do that work, right? Yes. And Abu and Dadi says you are too small to do that work. So she is confused, right? Yes, she is confused. She thinks how can she be too big and too small at the same time? So she is in the yes, confused state. Shanu is having a pink color frock that is old. Now, now she cannot wear it because why? Yes, she was too big, right? Yes, too big. Next picture. Yes, good. She is big, right? Yes, she is too big. So, she can't sit on Dadu back. She can't sit on as Dadu's back. She is thinking and she tries to understand what is her right size. Which work would she be right to do? Okay. When she is confused, her mom comes to her. Okay. Her ammi comes to her and saying, you are big enough to go to where? Yes, very good. Big school. Her ammi smiles at her and says, You are big enough to go to big school. Right? Yes. Then her dad says, You are small enough that I can carry you on my yeah, shoulder, right? Yes, that I can carry you on my shoulder. And then her dadu says, You are big enough for me to take me? Yes, for my morning walk. Then granny says, Dadi says, Yes, you are small enough for me so that I can tell you Yes, wonderful stories to you. If you are big, I can't tell you stories. If you are small, I can tell you. Yes, stories to you. And everyone hugs her. Okay, everyone giving her a yes, wonderful hug. I hope you understood. Okay, what is the next chapter? Louder. As very good. My yes, bicycle, right? Yes, my bicycle. See the spelling of bicycle? Louder. Yes, very good. B I S C Y S C L E, right? Yes, my bicycle. Okay, let's revise. In this poem. I have a bicycle, I pedal and ride. The bell goes tingle tingle and all move aside. Here the speaker is saying that he is having a louder. Yes, bicycle, right? Yes, he is having a bicycle when he pushes the pedals and make the bicycle as to move forward. When he rings the bell of the cycle, it produces a sound louder. Yes, tingle, tingle, right? Yes, what sound does the bicycle bell make? You know. Yes, tingle, tingle, right? Yes. When he rings the bell, everyone who is in front of the bicycle, yes, they move aside, right? Yes, next. When the road is narrow, cars, buses turn back and my cycle moves like an arrow and stays on track. Here, when the road is narrow, narrow means as thin, right? As when the road is small, all the big vehicles, what are the big vehicles mentioned here? As very good, car. Bus, then truck, jeep and so on, right? Yes, all the big vehicles, they turn back. But our cycle moves like an arrow on that yes, small road, right? Yes.
the traffic jam frightens the trucks jeeps and cars my cycle goes zigzag and takes me very far okay here the traffic jam frightens the big vehicles like trucks jeeps cars buses okay the traffic jam frightens the as big vehicles because they have to move backward right as if there is a traffic jam they have to move backward so they get frightened but the cycle goes louder zigzag right but the cycle goes zigzag it makes short and sharp turns and it takes the speaker very far okay next it jumps over a bump it ducks under a bush and if there is a puddle my cycle goes whoosh right yes here the speaker says that the cycle jumps over a bump easily and it moves down under a bush so that it cannot hit any other object if there is a puddle which means what's the meaning of puddle already we learned right tell me as very good a small pool of water right as a small pool of water if there is a small pool of water cycle goes as whoosh right as cycle goes whoosh okay i hope you understood okay let's move to the grammar part first common and proper noun okay common and proper noun common and proper noun okay common and proper noun okay cat book then rose what are these cat book rose what are these is very good naming words right as cat book rose butterfly these are naming words right it can be a name of a person place or anything right as these are naming words what is common noun what is common noun as very good common noun we used commonly okay when we talk about a thing commonly that is common noun for example boys b o y s boy commonly right yes boy then baby we did it baby then girl you want example as very good flowers f l o w e o s flowers okay common nouns are yes used common okay common nouns are used common then proper proper noun what is proper noun a special name given to a particular person or place or thing or called as proper noun okay special name given to a person place animal or or thing that comes under as proper noun for example for boys okay for boys raj okay this is a a special name given to a particular boy right as then baby as shan s h a n u right as for baby we give a special name to a particular baby shan then girl as pooja p o o j a pooja okay for a particular girl then flowers as rose special name for a particular 
flower by S. And another one thing, special name always begins with the S. Very good. Capital letter, right? S. Special name always begins with the S. Capital letter. Did you understand? Common noun used commonly. Proper noun a special name given to a particular person, place or animal or anything comes under S. Proper noun. Did you understand? Okay. Next. Noun number. Noun number. Noun S. Number. N U Y B E R. Right? Noun number. Here. Now have two forms, right? S. Singular and yes, plural. Singular and already you know, right? S. Singular and plural. If a noun refer one person, one place, one thing, one animal, it comes under a singular noun. Noun refer to one person. One animal, one thing, it comes under singular noun. For example, a boy. Okay? A flower. It comes under a singular. Then, if a noun refers to more than one animal, more than one flower, more than one person, it comes under a Plural noun. For example, boy. And yes. Okay. Then flower. Very good. Flower. And yes. Right? Yes. Okay. So, now in nouns number, if a noun refer to one person, one animal, one place or one thing, it comes under singular form. And if it is more than one person, one animal, it comes under plural form. Okay, my dear children, I hope you understood. Prepare well for your exam. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.